So, the capital of Botswana is Gaborin, and Botswana have about 2.4 million population. That is to say that it's a small country, but that country is immensely rich, enriched with a whole lot of natural resources. Recently, the second largest gold diamond stone that was found in Africa was found in Botswana. So that is to show you, and Botswana is one of the countries that have the high production of diamond in their country. So High Commissioner of Botswana to Nigeria, Fyodor Nani Kirim, has advised Nigerians to move into the country. Fyodor Nani Kirim said the relationship between Nigeria and Botswana has not been substantial and she is committed to seeing a relationship built on infrastructural collaboration, business and tourism. Ms. Kirini said Nigeria and Botswana have so many opportunities to share, she added, that sufficient collaboration between the two countries would help harness the opportunities. Speaking in an interview with Arise TV, the Botswana High Commissioner said the current relationship between the two countries was insufficient. I don't know what would be the indicators of a strong relationship in this case, but I must comfortably say we have had a bilateral relationship from a long time back. I remember that the embassies of Nigeria and Botswana have been there for quite a long time, but I think we have mostly over the years focused on just the normal kind of relationships where we collaborate on visa. We have not had strong program related and transformational ever increasing opportunities. And that's why I am going to focus on expanding the relationships, having more of projects going underground. We want to see more movement of Nigerians going to Botswana to appreciate whether tourism is business and so forth. So I must say that we are not, we are just seeing from the many years of collaboration that was just minimum and subtle in many ways. We want now to build a relationships where both countries can actually enjoy each other more and more opportunities. We have come up with strategic areas of collaboration where we believe that the relationship will be more, much more beneficial and valuable in a long time, Ms. Karini said. So, uh, why I'm reading this news is, based on the current situation in Nigeria now, every Nigerian wants to travel if they can afford it. And if you are the type you are in Nigeria, you are looking for ways to travel. Just be very careful because Botswana might be the country that your agents will be preaching to you now. So before you are going to give any agent money to get you Botswana visa with a whole lot of promises made to you, better make use of the internet that you have. You can search on Google. You can even look for platform, uh, Botswana platforms in different social media handles. Get information there. Because this is just a country of, of about 2.4 million people. Check if your vision and your ambition of going to that country, if that country have, this Botswana have the appropriate atmosphere for you to achieve that. In case it does not, but you want to use it as a gateway to leave Nigeria to migrate to somewhere else, make sure that you plan your plan B very properly before leaving. To avoid that, Agents will make you a whole lot of promise. Use your own frustration to fulfill their own frustration. And when you get there, it will choke you in the neck and you will not know what next to do. And you will be stranded and some of you will have to start calling your family members at home, friends and well-wishers to send you money or contribute money for you for you to from there find your way to another place. Because one problem with Africans is that Many of us Africans, we don't get appropriate information. We are not well informed about countries before going to them. We don't consider a whole lot of things that need to be considered before migrating to a country. We, some of us, we don't even have plan Bs What in case the plan A does not work. And we are in digital age. Africans should start learning. I just hope that on a normal norm, based on what the High Commissioner said, they will be able to achieve that which Botswana and Nigeria have ventured into to achieve. And I just hope and pray that it will benefit the both countries to the utmost benefit and progress of the both countries.